obviously it's crossed my mind and I've had after some performances I've had people say oh why don't you do it professionally and to be honest I, I really enjoy doing it and I think um, after the after the end of the show week you get to a point where you think right some of the shows that you do you get to the end and you think oh I could run this another week but thinking about doing that for six months at a time I, I, I think you'd actually lose the fun from doing it. When, when my dad was, uh, was writing this, I think he's actually sort of had me in mind for the part when, when this was written. So there's lots, of, uh, there's lots of things with me, with my trousers around my ankles and, and falling over things, climbing up things. And I mean, even before gymnastics, I was always climbing trees, climbing up things. I've always been quite an energetic person. Yeah, no, that's that, that. There is the whole nepotism thing, and and Sean as well. My my other half is the other director's daughter, so she's. Th there's lots of people that have said, and there is a lot of politics that goes along in the background with people getting parts. People take, I mean, take it very very seriously. The the parts, some more more than others. Um, I mean, I'm of the opinion I'll go. I will go for a part. And if I don't get that part, I'll do the chorus, and I'm happy. I'm happy to do that. Other people, people don't like doing that. They they they're just happy to do the part. But I think I've I, th I hope I've sort of proved myself over the past um, five or six years with the society. I've pretty much been doing lead parts for for the past sort of four or five shows, and uh, hopefully I, I think I've uh, I, I've sort of proved myself enough that. I don't think people generally think about the nepotism side of it. I hope not anyway. Before this, doing this, I didn't, um, didn't or musical theatre at all, I didn't really sing, didn't really have a voice or, or have any interest in doing it at all. And I did think, oh, there's a load of Nancy boys on the stage. It was, was, my, thought, my, was my thought about doing that. And my dad's first um, musical theatre um, MD role. He was in um, what's the what's the show called? Which is uh, there's nothing like a dame. Um, South Pacific. That's the one. South Pacific. He was doing that, and he said, uh, "With my gymnastics, would you like to come along and do a few backflips on the stage?" And I thought, "Well, yeah, why not? I'll, I'll come along." And just thought it would be literally a few backflips on the stage. Next thing, of course, they just wrote me straight into the chorus. I was singing, I was dancing, and I just thoroughly enjoyed it. And I and I found out that I could sing, and I could. Um, I've I've had to work quite hard. I've, I've had some singing lessons and um, and taking it quite seriously and and the like characterisation, making sure getting help from people and making sure you're doing it right. But I mean, most of, most of the ability is just working hard at it. Just try just trying to make sure that you you can if you can't do it properly, you um, work harder until you can do it properly. We, we both met while in the society. Um, uh, my ex-girlfriend before this, um, we'd met in a show before, and unfortunately that didn't work out after about three years. And then um, myself and Sean got together, and uh, yeah, we've been, we've been happy ever since. I think we'd, we'd danced together in shows, we'd been sort of coupled together, and we worked really well together and didn't sort of think anything of it. And then, uh, and then one after show party, um, everything sort of kicked off, and uh, yeah, and then we've been together ever since now. It's uh, about four and a half years we've been together now. Wow. We're getting married in um, in June next year. You get certain benefits from it being in the society. You know people in different areas, so that if you need somebody to print a couple of posters posters for you, or you need people, but generally, I think. That Work gets forgotten in in musical theatre, so and that's quite a nice thing, I think. As soon as everybody's there, everyone's equal. Nobody's. I mean, we've got a guy in here who's a bank manager at Harrods. He's he's one of the biggest guys, earns loads of money, but he's treated exactly the same as everybody else is, in, and that, I think that's a really nice thing.